Hello, today we're configuring a server, rack mount server, to try to install Linux Mint on it. And this is the rack mount server. <clears throat> and it's not easy because you need to boot from USB. And a device of this age, just starting it up, is not able to boot from USB, of course. And so you need to use a boot manager, which means you have to burn a CD and put it in the CD drive. The CD has plop on it, downloaded from the internet. That's plop, P-L-O-P, -P, which is a very small Linux program, which allows you to have a boot manager and you can choose then to boot from USB devices, which this machine can't normally do. And then from there, this is the startup. Sorry about the wind. You can see the curtain flapping, showing how much wind is being generated by the fan test of the server booting. And once it's booted from a USB, in my case an external USB drive, it was possible to install Linux Mint. The next thing to do, of course, is to find a graphics card driver to allow the display to work properly if I want to use a GUI. But this is really a, a learning tool to try to find out how to use a server like this, how to configure it. You can see it's starting to boot the lights. Just flashing a little on the hard drives. It's a RAID array, RAID 5 array of three drives where two are used for storage and the other one is for redundancy for fail-safe storage. <coughs> so this is as far as we've got so far. It takes a while to start because of the self-tests going on in the BIOS. A lot of hardware to test, configurations to set up, including the RAID storage array, which is configuring itself, and slowly it will boot into min Linux. The power consumption is enormous, probably. It's not the kind of machine I would want to leave running for a long time, but it's good for experimenting, trying out new things and, and old things on very old hardware. And I've certainly had to go right back into learning how to burn a boot ISO on a CD to just to get a boot manager to load before you can even start installing something else on the hard drives. Anyway, that's it for now. More will come later once this is booted and I have to start looking for graphics drivers.